Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here doing a reaction and review for the Cars 3 official trailer. I could have sworn the last one was the official trailer, so I guess not. Um, of course they got me <laughs> with that very first like super dark teaser and everything, like they got everybody, it was a big deal. And ever since then I was like, I have to follow it. Like I, I was just too curious and I think I mentioned in the last video that that might have been the last one and I think that's because I thought that was the official trailer and apparently that's not the case. So we're just going to get into this. With this being the official, official trailer, I'm really trying to remember what the heck that last one was called now because I thought for sure it was the official trailer. But with this being the official uh, U.S. trailer, so I don't know if the international one is, has different footage, they typically do, but it's like minor stuff. But with it being the official trailer, I'm excited to see. Like, is this going to be the one where Mater shows up? How dumb is he going to be? Is it going to instantaneously make this just cars? I mean, even cars wouldn't be that bad because I like the first one I mentioned in the last thing. Uh, cars 1 I actually enjoy. I know Cars 2 is Cars 2. But what are we going to get? So we're just going to get into this official trailer and see exactly how they do Mater. I assume with this being the official one, he has to show up at this point because we've seen so many trailers. We had the you know, the little glimpses, and we, we saw the disaster in the beginning. We got introduced to, like, the super fast cars that are going to be, like, the main competition for Lightning. We got whatever the heck, I guess that was just a teaser trailer. So we got to see it where he's, like, you know, he loses the race, and now he has to go and train at the dirt track, and then it turns into Mad Max at the end. So none of that had made her. He's got to be in here. So let's see how annoying he gets, and just what we get in general from this trailer. Dang, he was. <laughs> he was legitimately like flying backwards. He was like in space, and somebody just pushed him, and he was just like right across. So there's me. I'm so excited to train you. I like a challenge. <laughs> I call you my senior Roger. Mm. <laughs> okay. The beach ate me. That's in store. So that was totally some Rocky stuff, right? It has to be like a Rocky reference there. That is a sweet looking car, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's a that sounded exactly like the kid from the Incredibles. You can be smarter than him. But racing is the reward, not the stuff. The first chances of winning are ninety-five point two percent. That's the that's the Kajigger dude, which I I don't know why that always stuck in my head. Kajigger, Kajigger. I never forgot that. I don't know why. All right, that's not a bad trailer. Decent trailer. Um, wasn't as crazy as the last one because, of course, the whole Mad Max thing wasn't a surprise this time. And I was like, what in the, where in the world is that coming from? But that was a decent trailer. Uh, we get to see that the characters from the first film, from like the little town, are all coming back. I can't remember if they were in the second one because it took, you know, it took so much place, you know, so, so much of the movie took place in like France and stuff because of the whole spy thing. And really, it was mostly like Vader and, um, Michael Caine, the vehicle, so I don't really remember anybody else showing up in that except for like Lightning because of course he's technically the main character but the last movie was like a lot of spy stuff so 
you know, I don't think any of them were really in it except for like the very beginning of the second movie. So they're all coming back and, you know, Lightning is, you know, going to go back to, you know, his old stomping ground. We see like the uh, guy who's like the old former racer who helped him out at the end of the first movie. You know, he's passed on now because cars get old. Um, <laughs> but it was pretty cool. I, I actually like this trailer. I think it's fairly decent. It's not super over the top. You know, we do see Maker. Um, it's decent. It's not super crazy. It's not too over the top. They know not to have him as the main focus of the film because no one actually wants that. And I'm looking forward to what we get out of this. I'm pretty sure that was a Rocky reference with him uh, training on the beach. At least there's a very easy way to make that a Rocky reference. Um, so I, I kind of hope that they do that just because it would be funny to see them do that with cars. But I like this. Decent trailer. Nothing super crazy about it, but it didn't do anything wrong. I, I, I have to say that because I was really worried. Like, all right, when we finally see Mater, even though it is a trailer, it does make me wonder because he's, he's in the second sequence. Like, of course, I'm just going through it now, but he's in the second sequence where Lightning is training and he's getting, you know, he's getting faster and faster. So Mater, of course, is in there. He's his best friend. So he's going to be in there. They seem to do like a little flashback sequence of uh, the first movie, the part where he does actually jump over the other cars. We have him in the Mad Max thing where his tires are all blown out and the Incredibles kid uh, yells to him. But I am looking forward to what they do with this movie. Um, it's really hard to say if I, I'm actually going to bother paying to see this in theaters, but maybe I'll take my cousin so it's a bit more worth it because I know they'll enjoy it. But it seems like it might actually be okay. And... That's all we can. I don't know if you guys can hear the dog. She's sleeping now. Um, but it, it seems decent. And it's coming out on June, 6th, on June 16th. So, you know, we've got a little bit of time before it comes out. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what it does officially. But based on this trailer, I think it's okay. Um, all the trailers really have been pretty good. They've shown kind of the struggle for lightning in this film and him losing the race and almost dying and then kind of getting back on top whatever the Mad Max race thing is going to end up being but it seems pretty cool it's like okay they aren't doing the over the top craziness of Cars 2 which nobody really liked at all and maybe we'll get something even better than the first Cars movie which kind of had a generic plot but it was still enjoyable you know it's just the typical redemption story cocky douchebag redemption you know, he goes back to winning, but now he's not cocky about it. So, you know, it, simple story, but it was at least more entertaining than the second movie. And I think this could actually be more entertaining than even the first. So, I'm actually looking forward to this. Of course, would love to know what you guys think about this official trailer. How things have been set up from the beginning to now. You know, what these trailers make you think of this movie. Are you actually going to go out and see it? Um, maybe, oh, maybe I'll do a matinee thing. Maybe I won't pay, like, you know, full price and see it at night or anything. But I'll go, like noon or well, maybe not noon that's early for me but i'll go before, you know, for a matinee type of deal and you know, enjoy the film but like i said we'd love to know what you guys thought about this trailer so please put your comments down in the comment section below let me know your favorite parts and these favorite parts and like i said what i really want to know is from that very first super dark you know dark epic batman v superman style teaser to now how do you guys feel about the overall possible uh, quality of this movie because I think it's fairly decent. It's gonna be better than the second movie That's not saying much, but it will be and I do believe it at least has the potential to be better than the first Which I do think that's saying something because that was good Even though you know some you know, generic kind of storyline and this could be good with a unique story Well, it wouldn't even be that unique. It's still the older person Try, it, it's Rocky, actually. I I think I mentioned that before. It's Rocky with cars. He he was great. He lost, and now he wants to win again. It's Rocky, and it is what's Rocky. It's Rocky three, especially with the beach. It's Rocky three. So there you go. It's Rocky three. Um, maybe some elements of like maybe Rocky four. It depends if someone actually does die. We'll see what happens there, but. Yeah, Rocky 3. I like Rocky 3. I, I like Rocky 4 as well. So we'll see what happens. It's Cars 3, Rocky. But I want to know what you guys thought about, or, you know, thought about this trailer and kind of where this movie seems to be headed as far as when it finally gets out in theaters and the full version of it. If you're going to see it, not going to see it, couldn't care less. Love the trailers, but still won't, you know, bother seeing the movie. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.